necessary talk with Brian Sturges. This mic really picks up that chewing. It really does. And you're far away from the mic. That's that's a cloud lifter right there working that's with That's a cloud lifter, eh? Yeah. How's your cloud lifter? I think, good. I think because it was, uh, they called it, uh, what do they call it? Like open box or like really brand new or just. Oh, something. yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it's. Hasn't been used. Mm. Not even a scuff on it. Not that one scuff. See, nope. Daddy fine. See, Daddy got a good yeah, deal. Daddy, daddy you know, you know what Daddy do. Yeah. You know what Daddy do. Daddy, 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 take care of you. Yeah, he sure Daddy, do. take care of you. What did your Daddy do? Oh, that's right. Who is that? That's Bon Jovi? Aerosmith. Aerosmith, yes. Janie got Loving it again. again. Janie got yeah. a gun. Yeah. I got there. All right. Now, Aerosmith. That was my... That was my band. It when was, you were younger? Yeah, that was my... Toys when you were like middle school? Uh-huh. Right. You see when and, they uh, traced... Well, his, I had the greatest hits. Oh. You see when they traced his genealogy and they found out he was part African? Aren't we all part African? And, hell yeah. Why am I not surprised by that? The, the <laughs> lips? Jesus. I didn't... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that's exactly what I thought of, <laughs> but I'm glad one of us said it. Yeah. <laughs> so... I was thinking internet because he got DSLs. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. Well, good for so. Yeah. Digital service. And then, and then remember they did that movie Armageddon with the and the daughter had the soundtrack song there. Oh yeah. yeah. With Bruce with Ben Affleck's written by Diane Warren and after thirty years that was their first and only number one song. Don't want to miss a thing. What was her name? Oh, Liv uh, Tyler. No, Diane no. Warren. Who is Diane Warren? Oh, Diane Warren was the songwriter of the song. Okay. But that was Aerosmith's only number one song. So all their hits went to number two. Or no, is that she, the one with Alicia Silverstone in the video? That's a different. That's great. No, Brian, that's right. Now that video gave Baby Brian a hard on. Yeah, that was yeah. <laughs> Baby Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. Little, the little MTV Brian. G- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I but, thought you were more of a Courtney Cox, Bruce Springsteen. Right? No, 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 no. This is not all. This is Alicia Silverstone and that where she's that she's like taking oh. the Twizzlers or in her short pants or whatever. <laughs> well, when I think of Daddy you, liked. <laughs> when I think of Young Brian, I think immediately of Cox. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah. Uh, well, interesting. you know. No, that's a great. That's a great video. They did a few. And it's so funny that they all have like outfits and hats they wear. So that you're like level of pedophilia. You're like <laughs> somehow George Carlin were like the taller the hat, the more child penises. <laughs> oh, really? have, but, oh, no. You know what I mean? That's why the Pope is just like. Look at the oh, size it's of this a huge guy. hat. Yeah. Right. That's been a while since I've heard whatever variation of that bit. George Carlin, how's George? Mm. You know, what? you know what? You know what we're going to do right now? What? You, yeah, you know do what's it, happening. Do it, do it. You know what's happening? Oh. It's the music news of the week. Oh. Wait, did you do the intro at all? I don't think you did the intro. Music. I didn't do the intro? No, you didn't do this as this uh, is another uh, unnecessary topic. Yeah. I well, I guess talk. we'll do it now. I mean, my This well. is another episode of Unnecessary Talk with Brian Sturgis, and I am that Brian Sturgis. You follow me, BrianSturgis.com. You follow Cliff Beach at Cliff Beach Music, and you follow Timothy Hall at Timothy Hall Music. Music. Boom. Oh. I forgot. Yeah, it was well. a close one. So then, now we're just going to go straight into music. The music <laughs> news of the week. Well, recently at the Hollywood Bowl LA News, they had Jazz Fest oh, for multiple yeah. weeks. Headliner was Jodeci of all groups. At the Jazz at Fest? The Jazz Fest. Jo- whoa, 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 whoa. Jodeci, like your uncle got out of jail? Yep. <laughs> exactly. And he's like, is Jodeci still a thing? Yep. <laughs> yeah. And they went last, and Arsenio Hall was the host, and he left early. <laughs> Oh, he left early? After telling everyone how he had a bigger house than them, just was not well, there to be. announce Jodeci. Uh, Andre Day Jodeci was also jazz there. Festival. Very sleep, yeah. See, now, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. But all the jazz I like, like Jodeci. Of course. I would make love to a woman while playing their music. Nice. I have no idea. You still could. Who they are. She just won't know any of the songs. No. Yeah. Your not, current. not now, oh, please. Yeah, no, she doesn't know. Yeah. No, please. I don't like, know. Anything she assumes about this that's person. like a shoe brand or something. Like, you oh, say, you got a new pair of Jodeci? Yeah. Oh. You say new edition. She thinks new kids. She thinks block. old edition. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks first edition. I mean, she, you should have seen her when she got it. Uh, new Amsterdam. Okay, you know what I mean. <laughs> Massapequa. Oh, Deborah. By the way, we found out that Deborah is possible that she will lose one of her toes. Oh, damn. I love. I love my wife. Oh, oh she's she, well. She's three ninety seven this Woo. week. 
That's up. That's up. <laughs> their like numbers are up. Do you like where the new bit is <laughs> every like, week? It's like, we're good. I heard a pop. You yeah, heard, heard a pop, too. I heard the pop. We heard yeah. pops. Yeah. If you if there wasn't a pop, I want you to add a pop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. But uh, Fourth of July at the White House, it's, we had a huge festival featuring Smokey Robinson and Fantasia. Oh. Uh, Fitz and the Tantrum and Sheila E. Sheila E. was kept out of a recent Prince tribute at Paisley Park in Minneapolis. So Why? she begged for them to give her her drum set back, the steel fitting. <laughs> 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 She said, I can see her shit outside with just like two marimbas. Like, like, hey, <laughs> come on. How do I get my. Uh... Yeah, just trying to live that glamorous life. And Sheila lastly, e. well, maybe Staples has a new single out worthy. NX Worries has a new Staples? album. Mavis. 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 Oh, Mavis, Mavis Staples? Mavis Staples. St- no, I would have assumed she was no longer with us. Nope, still here. Still, still here. here. Good for you, Mavis. Yet, hanging now, on. Now, you don't meet very many women named Mavis anymore. No, I That's thought true. it was a man's yeah. name. When you said it. Yeah. And then speaking of, you know, following in the, the BS footprint okay. of... Uh, Is this shit coming? Justin Timberlake was released <laughs> after having a DUI. Well, it Oh, happens. was he in the jail house? Well, he was in Montauk or whatever. He was... Oh. He actually... Um, what happened is he had a, he was driving to the Hamptons in Long Island, but so he had to go around my wife. So oh, he, that, he yeah. went he went around, took some back roads, and ended up in one of those small Long Island uh, officers. Yeah, yeah, you say her words, I say acquitted her. Am I right? <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, what? She's got two moons circling her. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> no, and I, I love her. News of and the... I don't have a prenup, and her and her family comes from. Uh, um, what do you think? What do you think? Where should I go with? <laughs> we're gonna go. A we're gonna go. Company. She yeah. She owns. Golds. She <laughs> owned golds. She owned golds. Jewish delicatessen. Which I pronounced correctly. I still got a thing happening. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and uh, and uh, pretzel the company. Gym. Yeah, yeah. It, which inevitably turned into well, the pretzels were so large oh, that yeah. people started to come. They're like, we need strong men. To pick and, this and, and a lot of pretzel makers are gay. So, <laughs> yeah, as you know by the, <laughs> so, you know, they're like, ah, oh, let's twist and bend because you know, in order in order to have a homosexual <laughs> orgy, you have yes. to really do. Oh, you got you, you got it. Which is around. now why they've yeah. changed the name to Tranny Ann's Pretzels. Mm. Tranny Ann's? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I do like an Annie's Pretzel, though. This one got away from us. <laughs> yeah, that was very quick. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, see, the break is he's never good <laughs> after the break. Because I start off like this, then crash, and then... Did uh, you know that pretzels are I, German? Uh, there was some more to that. Well, you know what the other half. Did you know that pretzels are... They're original? Bavarian. Yeah. Bavarian. And they're pronounced with a B. Brit- Britzels. Bre- bre- bretzels? What? Are you telling me that it's bretzels? bretzels. It's like Trump? Yes. Bretzels. Who are you voting for? Because you're bretzels. in America. <laughs> That's what they said. Bre- when, they're run- when they're skipping, you know, in the Bavarian Lederhosen or whatever. Bretzels. That's what they're called. I, know, I, had, I had no idea. I don't mind a pretzel. I like it. Yeah. Now, I find that I get a pretzel if I'm in the mall, which I still go to occasionally. Oh, at Usually at the holidays to buy the wife, oh, yeah, like a sweater here. or something. That's I go exactly to the, the mall, time I go. and yeah. then you will see, like... It's essentially children or single men in like short pants getting a whole pretzel. That's what I mean. Because it's on the go. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. on the go. I sure. went to this vintage market and oh. I said to my wife, I said, we need to open a pizza truck. Because all the foods that they had were these were restaurants that took time out of the day. Oh. I was like, you guys don't even have a pizza or something that's just Get money, it. go. Boom, boom. Let the yeah. guys, we're here. They're old, they're, yeah. old, they're old white men in shorts that they purchased and from Wrangler. Navy. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Old Navy. Yeah. You know, they, and they drove up in the 1986, like the caravan. You know that oh, thing with yeah, the Dodge caravan one, with yeah. the wood paneling? Mm-hmm. Well, well, a lot of people during the pandemic started David. making pizza. I got a guy at the farmer's market by me that just start, dreadlock guy, white guy. He started getting pizza. Maybe he's Latin. He might be Latin. <laughs> but they started making pizzas. Very good. And then there was, the a, out of Hollywood, <laughs> there was a place called Surprise Pizza, where a guy was oh. just like doing it on Instagram Surprise. outside of his house. Now he's opened up a storefront in like Lincoln. Well, Heights let me explain something to you. You really need to go to the events. So let's say you don't have the money to open a shop. Mm-hmm. You should at least get a pizza thing going in a, perhaps a trailer. You don't even have to buy the RV. You don't have to buy the engine. But let's say you have something you can tow yeah. or you can rent it w- once a week. But I go to these events and I'm like, the, the basic businesses aren't here. Like, where is... The ice cream. You got oh, you got all yeah. you got five hundred kids here, but there's no like ice cream hell. stand, right? Yeah. There's no pizza. Everything's artisanal in LA with your big hats and your dreams. I'm sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> there were two brothers, Peter and Phil, who started an ice cream business, but Peter Peter feels 
Yeah, Why did you work that out this whole time? That's how was, uh, Ben and Jerry's. Now that when I was in high school, that was like a date thing. Like you'd be like, "I'm taking my girl." To oh, ben right. And Jerry's. Yeah, you, you bust out three dollars. You're like, yeah. yeah. Here's, a, here's a five. Just, just keep the change. Yeah, we've really went gourmet with our ice cream in the last couple of years with Van Leeuwen and Salt and Straw and Ginny and all those. They're, they're Ginny, good yeah, there's, yeah, there's yeah. one they're, I've heard of. Some tasty. Hmm. I've never had any of those. I remember Ben and Jerry. Yeah, hey, I saw a Freddy's the other day. I thought of you. Ooh, Freddy's. Oh good. yeah, instant nervous. diarrhea, but it's yeah, good. No, seriously, Ooh, it will fuck it'll you clean up. you out. I you should love get, to get you get that up. before you have to have yeah. a colonoscopy. Your wife's out of town. Yeah, right. Sunday night, you eat that. Where is it though? Because the one you wake up close. Yeah. So closed. where is Freddy's now? They're around. Other states have them. <laughs> Maybe that's where I saw it. Because I went to. Speaking of. I went to uh, the the ladies' home state there. Oh yeah. See, I've now I've already established that it's that it's uh, lower up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But she has a cousin who lives down in Louisiana. Oh sure. Engines. So I went down to visit her. Her twin sister. Yeah, yeah. Deborah's twin sister, Deborah. <laughs> oh. This is one of those black. rare cases where where she was impregnated with two different men yeah. at the same time, <laughs> yeah. and one is black and one is white. Yeah, I can't say that word, but what's the word you like to say? Mulatto? That's the word. I, I knew you'd get that. I knew it. Locked it. And you know what you said a couple episodes ago? You said that we don't we don't agree on a lot of things. Oh, yeah. And I, yeah, you said that real quickly. So what are the things? I don't agree. What are the <laughs> things you don't, you think that we don't agree on? Oh. Let's have a beef like the like oh. they do in Hollywood. Let's have a Hollywood yeah. beef. Hey. Get some hey, traction. Hey, I have beef with you. Oh. Because, uh. You say we have different views? Well, I feel like a 1980s Wendy's commercial. Well, you don't believe in Wendy's mental health, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, t- no, I don't believe biggie. in helping it. Oh, Tupac no. or Biggie? Huh? Tupac or Biggie? That's exactly. This is You're watching Tupac and Biggie 2024. No, I'm saying which one's better, Tupac or Biggie? I think Biggie. Well... What do you? Uh, uh, I would say I like. As a New Yorker, I prefer the Biggie flow, but I think Tupac was was better and more prolific. And what do you think about the videos where he seems to be like a gay man? Oh yeah, have you seen those where because he's like at the art? Is it like he he basically went to a high school for the arts? Sure. Oh, you know, I see. and he was and they were video and he was like a dancer and it was very. Kind of gay was the whole point. I don't know. So, do you gay. think that his thug character could the thug character have just been essentially a great actor's Willy Wonka? Oh. If Tupac was essentially a, a musical theater person, right? You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But that's been. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But can you find? Look it up because this is—it's going to die out. Let, no, but it's always at least find the image. Is. You'll see the shoulders. He kind of had homosexual shoulders, and I would say, what a way. and dangerous <laughs> curls. But yes, he was raised by a single mom, so that that adds oh, to the flamboyance. Never good. But then beyond that, he was raped in jail for sure. Oh, I didn't know. This took a hard turn. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Why was he in jail? Just for drugs or something? Or gangs, g- drugs, gang stuff. Yeah. No, he, he got raped. He signed his first deal in jail. Then he got awarded after his death. His family got all his rights because they <laughs> they declared that he was under duress to sign a contract to give his rights away in jail. Uh, did you just Google Tupac gay on my computer? No, Is that no, kind no. Of what happened? I, I, went, I went Tupac high school. Did you say too gay? Right too, hold on. Let's get this up. Too furious? No. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah, there's a there's a him in a bathtub with nothing but gold chains on. That's a very gay photo that, that's been around. But he also dated Jada Pinkett, who was I bi. So they, he might have been bi. I heard it too. I'm going to check. Uh... He might have been bi. And a lot of gang has uh, has that back and forth. Are you rolling, Eddie? Okay. Okay, my name is Tupac Shakur, and I attend Tampa Pie High School, and I'm 17 years old. Do you like being 17? And it's like 17 such a weird age. It's such a in the middle it's age. It's my favorite. 18 yet, and you're when older I was a kid. 16. So. But I like it. It's nice. <laughs> it's like a learning stage for me. Do you wish you could be 18 and maybe get some more rights? I think being raised by a single mom just gave him a slight flamboyance, and he was still figuring out who he was at the time. The video I saw, they edited extra gay, because this doesn't seem oh, gay to me okay. Yeah. 
But they were, they must have seen like they pulled the ones and they added some music. Yeah, and they were like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, music. But to seeing seeing it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because I, I remember a, a little house on the ferry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I'll tell I'll tell you the truth about me. You know, I grew up with all women, and I was I was basically a sissy growing up most of my life. <laughs> a sissy. Um, I mean, so was I. Yeah. But not I was raised regular. Well, right. But I'm just saying. But then, like I, like. <laughs> I, I I became I became more masculine as an adult as you got older sure. as a kid. Sure. Yeah, I, it burned off where I was like, okay, these, burned these, off. It's like yeah. the marine layer. Yeah, these, these pieces are Jew not serving you. You know, yeah, you're not going to get sure. pussy being a pussy. You know, so you right. got to then evolve. You unless you unless you dress up like one and you wear yeah. a fake mustache. Yeah, like oh. sometimes you just have to walk in and be like, I don't smell no dinner cooking, bitch. You know, like oh my god, you, I'm saying sometimes because women they they complain. But ultimately, they want you to be aggressive and hetero and traditional. I would say my wife did not think she would marry someone like me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, just well, she did. Okay. She did a lot of like well, the good thing soft is, shoulder uh, yeah. guys. You know what I mean? The good thing about yeah. her, <laughs> I do know what you mean. <laughs> well, the you good know? thing about it is that she can imagine sleeping with someone else anytime she wants. Well, yeah. You'll never know. Now, what's funny is if you're going. That's why you got to get those new meta. Oh, the glasses. Yeah, to get the glasses so that you can really. Uh. You could pick any woman you want online and be like, I'm going to... Oh, yeah. I'm going to AI her. You know <laughs> I'm going mean? to AI the hell out of this lady. I yeah. was thinking with my chiropractor about his kids learning about porn. They That's that, what you were thinking about? I was just saying that like, the <laughs> porn we grew up on, psychologically, versus now, is totally different. Because we didn't have all the permutations of like... Well, yeah, and you had to you find it in the find woods. So quick. So. We had like a shame of like you had to sneak and find it, or you found like a Playboy. But even that... Was like classy. That's like jazz. Right. Like Playboy, oh, yeah. Playboy right Jazz Fest. Well, yeah. But I'm saying, but now it's like you're seeing, like, you know, this woman. Hardcore anal in, throbbing. Yeah. So kids, they're getting just a Prolapsed, way more just anal yeah. drippage. Oh, no. And, and there's, no, there's no filter. Like, you don't have to feel ashamed because you can find it. Guzzling hot ass cum. <laughs> So I'd be worried. Keywords. I'd be worried for this Hashtag. generation. Hashtag. That's the that's the name of this episode. Oh no, it's gonna get flagged. You become the porn you grew up on, essentially. Oh, okay. Now I have generation. noticed. I've never seen it, but that it, it goes that the time what is in at the moment will come and go. So, you know, you things that you would never do before became yeah. something that everyone oh, does. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now it kind of goes away. Yeah. It comes back and goes. And then yeah. it's interesting that I've noticed, uh, not anymore, but the young women of today or my yesteryear, it, it's a, a big stepping up to right. when I was young. So the a, a, anything you could ever try to find in a video store now yeah. happens within, well, sometimes very quickly. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Well, they're, yeah. they're so big they can't. <laughs> It's just more of like, yeah. oh, you're going to be sitting at that bar for a while, aren't you? You ain't moving. Well, I mean, now... I'm going to send you a bucket of chili. <laughs> well, now there's like no... Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's, I don't know, there's, there's no being compelled to have actual relationships. Like, sex has devolved past relationships. It's really a situation. Is it more a sport? At sport this point. Uh, well, it's just like you will see the prevalence of marriage decline significantly in the next two generations. Where again, they, they have no up. reason to do it. They, there's nothing. Right, I had no reason legally. to do it either. Well, yeah. She wanted it. Yeah, I was like, whatever. Yeah, love. It's okay with me. She's like, if you're gonna sweat and pump over me three times a year. <laughs> yes, she's like, listen, <laughs> if you can, if you think you can afford to feed me, uh, my dad said he will <laughs> give you some um, um, oxen. Oh, nice. Yeah. For the little tails. Yeah. And, so it's uh, sad. It's yeah. sad because little, little cattle channel. So our generation is that switchover generation. I don't know what happens. Where we became more digital, but we're still kind of analog. Uh -huh. So it's like, as I look at the next generation, like I can just tell like within the apps and the dating world, like there's a disconnect of people. Like they have no reason to really do anything. They're not closers. No. You're weak. Oh. <laughs> They're out there. You know yeah. what I mean? Don't ask if you could kiss her. Yeah. She'll let you know that she wants to be kissed. Yeah. The consent will come from her. You know, if you're kind of getting close and she's pulling away, well, don't get closer. But if oh. she's like, ah, ah, <laughs> and you know what I mean? You take it like a Zoom man, you press her that. up against the locker. No, I find they go back and forth. Like, <laughs> right. Oh, the the old push and pull. And pull. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I'm I think, saying push and pull. 
I love the Puss in Pooh. Who sang it? Music trivia. Little Milton. Is that right? Little Milton. Nah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look it up while you Wait. Done. No. Give me the push. No, not Little Milton. It's, uh... Give me the Wait, is it Little Milton? I think it's Little Milton. Oh, they, they call it the push and pull. Is that what we're talking about? I think it's Little Milton. It's not Sam and Dave. I think it's Little Milton. Rufus Thomas. Rufus Thomas. Rufus That's what Thomas. I thought, I thought I mean, it was one it, of If two. it were on a list, yeah. I would have recognized I said him. Rufus Thomas. I was thinking him. You can't... So listen... Do you hear it? Do you hear what's happening to me lately in your mouth? Do, he I did a lot it. of dance it's songs. No good. That was his thing. It was do the, do the push and pull. Do the Rufus push Thomas. And pull. Listen to him on YouTube. We can't play it or we'll get. Yeah, to, yeah, classic. Yeah, we'll get. To but it. yeah, so I was like, basically, this new generation of people, they don't want to date. Like, there are people who are like trying to figure out how to suck their own dicks, because <laughs> they don't give a fuck about being with anybody anymore. Maybe those are just the people on your app. I think that even if one could suck their own dick, it would not be as good as someone else doing it. But I understand that you have the baseline. You know what you like. But isn't it? Yeah, it's like scratching an itch. It's more There's fun than somebody else There's ways to do it, it, but it has to, I think the easiest way is the over, the legs over the head. Over the head. Going this way, I feel, would be harder. Yeah. Oh, because you would, you need the gravity. You'd always be on all fours. You need gravity. This is true. So that's more emasculated. That's true. And I'm already wearing the tail, so that makes sense. <laughs> from <laughs> last week, yeah. <laughs> you wearing what? He had the uh, tail. American tail. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I lost all this. Five goes west. <laughs> What's happening? He had you a had tail sex with a couple mouse? of weeks ago. I had a tail a couple of weeks ago. You, yeah. Does that mean you got laid? You got no, no, no he you had got, an actual I tail stuffed tail. in his ass. Yeah, I was wearing an <laughs> anal plug tail. Oh, the I whole love episode. those. Why didn't you just say so? <laughs> you yeah. could have just said I it. I see that. Yeah, the, the, the Equus 440. Did yeah. you try that one? <laughs> I was in Auburn. Now that's good stuff. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So no one's done it. No. <laughs> no, no, I can't say I no, have. No, no. People, are, people are watching this. <laughs> yeah. The Some egg? Of them. Nope. Uh, I've never, uh, it's never put anything up there. <laughs> it's, it's, so far, it's just an exit. Finger? No. Nope. Just around the outside? <laughs> nope. I no? can't say I have. The pluck, pluck? <laughs> On the crest? I had two German sailors fish me once <laughs> for $15. <laughs> oh. I yeah. Talk about the third rank. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. One guy was this way, one guy yeah. was this way, one I guy gave was them both this way. One guy oh, I gave them both a hip and The hardest way to get it, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, I'll be even. I don't know what happened to this. It really, between just complaining for half an hour, <laughs> calling it a show, and uh, whatever we're doing with our lives. But uh, Hey, did we do the music news of the week? We did. Did you hear the, you hear the, you hear the news? Did you yeah. hear it? So I did hear it. It's happening. I got a thing. Do hey, have you been to back to Disneyland recently? You know, no, Disneyland. but I saw your post yeah. where you have like six shows a day. Yeah, I've been playing a lot oh, of shows down gonna there. you're going to be a Beatles soon. Uh, well, that's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's so interesting when you see like the back office of a place <laughs> like that where you're like, this right. is, you know, where you see like the half-dressed mini smoking a cigarette uh, and that kind of thing. Right. It's just, it's not the happiest place. No, is it no. institutional? Yeah, it's got to be hot in those outfits. It's not even just the outfits. Southern California. It's just like, it's just like when you, it's like popping in and out of a dream. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is very fake and sad. Then, then you're in back and you're like, this is not anything. It's so interesting how LA and Hollywood has created like a smoke and mirrors for everything. Well, that's what like, it is. That's, everything. It's, it's a show. You're going to Disneyland. That's not real. Yeah. They hate you so much. Yeah, Every filter. employee there, what they're getting twelve dollars an hour to oh, give yeah. you a giant chicken wing or something. Yeah. Like this wasn't the dream. I mean, people I people I that go there, they get engaged. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, with their hands like this. You know those people. I know those people. Well, it's like when I see them. dating profiles with women standing at the Magic Castle or the Magic Kingdom with the ears, I pass. I pass on pets, I pass on kids, and I pass on Disneyland. <laughs> and I pass on sports. When I see them wearing sure. Dodgers, What about Joy? Pass. If they look happy, do you pass? Pass. On? <laughs> yeah. No. So you, when you look for like weakness behind the eyes, yes. what's your... <laughs> yes. What's your... What I do you manipulate what this person. What are you looking for? Why don't for? the wheelchair chicks ever match with me? Like, I feel like I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Well, you got to go to loveramps.com. Have you? <laughs> Love ramps. Ramps only. <laughs> ramps. Oh. oh, that's so much better. Oh, that yeah. is good. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought of something. Like, I don't love it. And you definitely, okay, good job. I'll take it. Uh, I'll take the compliment I'm giving you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I imagine there's like an archery 
matchup. Cupid matchup thing. Well, you could just. I tell people you're a Cupid without the diaper and cuteness. But what do you they look for in a woman on there? Yeah. Are you like? Available? What's your? Yeah, but you there's just... definitely things that I don't like. Like there's when everyone someone's like, I want someone who's generous. Pass. That just means they want your money. Um, or someone loves, loves to travel. Or people... no jobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, life coach. Give me tips on. <laughs> Like give me coaches. give me tips on traveling to Each one is Japan. More than the next. Anything like that, pass. Or like I have to travel at least six times to get passed. Right. And then um, you have to make like anyone that says I want to be friends first, year. pass. What the fuck are you on a dating app for? You don't go on well, there to find friends. I mean, but pass. Okay. All right. No, you have to date with the intention of wanting to get with someone. You cannot try to become friends first. I have never been friends with a person first that then blossomed into anything else. I mean, they're oh, friends really? with them or not. There's no between. Well, I did the opposite because I spent 20 years running through the town and then I married my friend. Just running through that town. I mean, hey, I didn't say they were all fucking tense. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a couple 1.1s in the yeah. show up there. If you add enough <laughs> ones together, you get a 10. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want a lineup. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't want, like, I wouldn't want to see a PowerPoint presentation. But, if, all your, over but a yeah. friend. Can, that can happen, but it, the friend you have to have some attraction to them, though. It, it's not like I was oh, never right. attracted to. Yeah, them. right. And now I'm attracted to them. That doesn't happen. No, right. I don't think that happens. But we, yeah, but we weren't available at the time. Right, but there still has to be some subliminal attraction. Right, and it that's why on the show, you, around the show, on the site, you should go. I agree. The, the French thing is like you know, take it slow, but like. You know. But that means you're apprehensive or afraid to make a decision. Or you're trying to like test someone, but that you either go all in or you don't. Huh. If you're on a dating app, you need to be ready to date. Anyone says like I'm figuring out my dating goals, yeah. pass. Recently divorced. You need to know what the fuck you want to do to find it, because otherwise you're just you're just trying to get a dopamine rush of someone liking you, never wanting to have a conversation. Also, people who are like I want phone calls only, text I don't text, pass, because I don't have time to make phone calls that much. I mean, I'm going to make selective phone calls, but not all the time. You made butterscotch cookies last night for three and a half hours. Mm-hmm. Okay? You got While time. watching old VHSs. Of the Golden of Girls. G- of the, go- of the yeah. Golden Girls. Right? Yeah. You, got to, you saw the first three Golden Palaces, okay? You got time. Well, Don Cheeto is a gem. I mean, he is. Uh, and Cheech Marin. Uh, oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I remember his, his lipped palate. Palate oh, lipped? Man. Oh, cleft, cleft palate? But I thought this is the cleft. I thought it was up here. Yeah, so that's a cleft also? I think so. You, this is, so this is oh, obviously this? a cleft palate. You mean that thing that they give the pennies and the quarters for for kids? <laughs> I believe so, yes. Yeah, right? 65 birth. Yeah, he had it. I knew so that's, why that's why he had, had a mustache, because he has a scar right here. Oh, no. Oh, is him. that what that was? Oh, they fixed him good now. You can barely notice. That's when we go to third world countries. We fix the lid. How many of those quarters do you think that end up in a Greek diner? I'm cardboard sure. thing, oh, just go the to thing. go to I'm Africa. Pretty sure yeah. they never went. You think so? But they say you shouldn't sponsor a child like that anymore, like because it it creates a power dynamic where one kid has something and the rest don't. Oh. Yeah, fuck him. You have to sponsor like the whole family. You can't just sponsor. I'm sponsoring nobody. Though. You're sponsoring some youth. You sponsor me. You're doing. Oh, you're, I'm you're giving, doing. You're doing. I'm like doing a lot of. Well, I'm, well, I'm doing that, but I'm also giving monthly meals to people who need meals. Like who? Like singer songwriters? Steve. No, just like those meal programs, like Feeding America. Oh, 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 okay. I got into it during the. The vid. Yeah, when I learned that people were going hungry. I was oh, you learned this recently. Right. Well, I mean, always. Sally but, Struthers didn't convince you? Well, it's so cheap. Like, you can feed Too people fast. for like, <laughs> you can fe- feed a meal for like 10 cents. So it's like, you can give out like 20 meals for like two bucks. So it's like, it sounds better when you're like, I gave out 20 meals. Have you seen the Indian TikTok where they show what the restaurant's like? No. Like, where like this guy's like cutting up the chicken with his toenail. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was joking. If you haven't seen those, and then they make it, and the guy's oh, wait, like, wait. lick them and like lick the. <laughs> They yeah, watched this is fresh. Yeah. Yeah, no. Oh. So, I gonna... remember they were trying to make disposable <laughs> silverware for India and they there was a company that made a spork out of lentils and you could eat it. You're right. Yeah, I remember that. That that's a, that makes sense. Oh, good. <laughs> What the what? What a voice. 
Yeah, I guess we should be talking, especially if we have to remove the music. But. Oh, yeah. Now, the thing is, so, it sounds weird to us, but I mean... Oh, he's got a knife there. He's just holding it with his foot. Yeah. What? I think he's... he's yeah, yeah. See, it's a knife right there. I was like, how sharp oh, is there's his a toenail? There's a knife between his toes? Yeah. yeah. So he's just holding it. It's like a third hand. But it's touching his Still. foot. But the thing is, how do you know sure. your feet are any cleaner than your hands? Well, because I don't fucking handstand around the Ralph's parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I get that, but I'm just the saying The bottom of your though. foot is disgusting. <laughs> well, it probably Let me tell you that right now. <laughs> but how do you know it's actually touching his Fucking feet? hobo piss. And and oh, so much hobo piss. Well, and, so much well, and hobo The thing is, like, if you're, if you're cooking it, and that's killing all the bacteria from it anyway, then it wouldn't really matter. You hear that, Gordon Ramsay? Right? Relax. I mean, yeah, I mean I in theory, so. you wouldn't taste foot when it's cooked. At the end. I don't think he's getting the A or the but B. But what about though. when you say, put your foot in it? Right? Isn't that a black term? I've never I heard that. No you never idea. heard someone say, God damn, this mac and cheese is good. You put your motherfucking foot in it. You never heard that? I have no, no. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of that. Google it. Put your foot in it. Put your foot in it, thing? cooking. I hate working. My Google. Put really your foot in it, like cooking. My, the algorithms that I get. Well, I got to tell you, girl, you put your foot in that. That's a book. Yep. Okay. Well, what's this? But, uh, oh, it's actually at the store that ripped Bodice or whatever. And that's, that's, that's in Culver City, California. It is. Huh. On Main Street. Ripped Bodice. I've been there once. I thought it was a sex book. Show. Bodice? Is that what it says? I can't see. Yeah, Bodice. I thought it was Bodice. 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 Yeah, yeah, Bodice. Yeah. So that's like this, the white... It's like a it, the, okay, it it's like holds cor- the corset. Boob it holds holder. the holder. Boobies. It's whatever. like a corset. It's a yeah. boob- booby corset. It's a booby holder, right? The old booby holder. The old booby hatch. But anyway, yeah, so now you guys know a term. Put your foot in it. All yeah. right. So well, it's, well, you can go ahead and put your foot in it now if it's... Tiny Tim TikToks. Clean up your dog poop. Excuse me, ma'am. I love how his shirt is held up on his butt. Come pick up this nice pile of shit that your dog left in my yard. I've been waiting for you for two days. I have children here. That's your dog. Come pick up your shit. Come pick up this nice pile of shit that your dog left in my yard. This will be every day. I will watch you every day. Oh my goodness. I have you on video. Pick up after your dog. Please pick up after your dog. People are dicks when it comes to stuff like that. Oh, yeah. dog, yeah. You yeah, don't clean yeah. up your dog. You're the same, the same piece of the shit. Don't don't put your cart back. And the oh, people yeah. who bring dogs, oh. I, I hate that shit. Oh my I god, do the cart thing. Oh, you know, oh, all the cart. Talk about the dogs in the supermarket. You love that. Did you see that? Oh, oh the, I love that. Did you see that woman? The one that was posting about how she was like, I'm afraid to leave my kids alone, and she she went viral for not putting the cart back ever. Oh yeah, because she didn't want to uh, yeah. leave her kids in the car for. And that was some second. bullshit. That's just some white lazy. privilege bullshit. Ugh. It was like everybody thinks only their shit matters. And this happens at the shows too. I can look out when I'm playing and they don't give a fuck. They only care <laughs> well, about yeah. no, I'm, I'm used saying, to that. No, I'm saying, but they only care about their bubble. Yeah. What happens to them and they matter and you don't. And that's a fucked up society. And that happens with this. This person, they, they care enough to have a dog, no but not to fucking pick them up. And if it's shitting in your own yard, that's one thing. But shitting in someone else's yard is fucked up. And they know they're getting called out. And the only reason is because they have a camera. They'll yeah. fucking come back. But it's like, you knew when you left it, you fucking need to pick that shit up. You're supposed to bring bags and shit. And I see it all the time. You know how many times I stepped in shit? I feel like I'm stepping in it right now. Hey, hey. <laughs> Bitch. What? But we are going to uh, leave you with a short taste Oh. of a play that opened in London Soho Theatre tonight. It's arrived here from Belgium. It's called Sirens, and it is described as an irreverent feminist manifesto for the 21st century. So have oh, a okay. listen and have a good night. Hmm. Hmm. Those semitones? Oh, 
A little Melodyne would fix that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna say over it. You can't just drape everything under feminism as being worth. Shh. I'm trying to listen. <laughs> there it is. We got Said to the good no part. Man ever. Oh, they turned the page to the next section. They turned the page. Someone wrote this. Fucking down. arrange this. That night, none of them went home to their husband. <laughs> Just remember that. Oh. I, I feel like it would be hard to maintain not matching pitch or being harmonious. Oh, because but that's, they were that's, just like that's bullshit. There's that's so right many female groups that are actually good. This is bullshit. This is just the guys are saying it's feminine to be new. It's like that trans country group. This is jack shit. The, the, this this takes no talent. <laughs> <laughs> the Dixie Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dixie Dicks. No, but that sucked. That wasn't even music. No, I mean, it wasn't. Oh, music. Yeah. yeah. I think we can agree on that. I'll see what the hell I want to see. Can you see? Yeah, I'll see what the hell so, I want to see. So I see you. Crazy ass. No, I'm not crazy. Yeah. No, I'm not crazy. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. She's like Marge Simpson. Yeah, it's a Marge hair. Simpson haircut. That bothers me too. I don't know why there's like certain people who are just always looking for a fight. It was like you know that that's just like ratchet crazy. <laughs> The, which one? I'm saying, like, why do you have to be so antagonistic? Like, you've created a situation where you have done something that is a conversation piece. Someone is going to still playing the video. Oh, by Felicia. You said by Felicia. Yeah. By Felicia. The train is the Put your foot in it. <laughs> yep. By Felicia. That lady really put her foot in it. I need one more. Before too. the end of the show, we need one more thing that I can. Okay. Am I allowed to say by Felicia? Sure. Okay. You said Unless you're talking about bisexual Felicia and then that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Climbing up the mountain trail, natural as can be. I can see bear tracks coming after me. Excuse me, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, excuse me. That there song refers to bear tracks, right? Yes. Why? Uh, why? Well, them ain't no bear tracks. They ain't? No. -uh. Them's gator tracks. That's Prince on Sesame Street. I've hmm. never seen that playing yeah. a country character. Or acting. Yeah. I've seen it. That's classic. Oh, you've seen that one? I've never I've seen, seen that, that one. Before. It's great. Mm -hmm. Hi, y'all. Mm -hmm. Now I wonder, what would she do? If I sang out of tune uh -huh. Give you a black eye Would you stand up? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Give you the black eye. That's fucked up. Uh, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. I mean, that was, uh, that's not funny. But. <laughs> it's, no, it's not. Her life becomes more remarkable to me over time where I'm just like, I mean, he'd be here for like 14, 15 years. Yeah. I, I don't think I could have survived. Mm -mm. But would you stay if you were winning Grammys? But she was arguably more successful after, though. After him? Yeah. Like w when she did like the legs one, that was yeah. a good one. Oh, yeah, because yeah, she didn't one. even have a number one until she went solo. That one huh. song was her only number one. Not private dancer, the other one. What's love got to do with it? Oh yeah, yeah. Was only sure. number one. They song. had a lot of soul hits, but they weren't number one. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no no no. No no. You know those are gone. Yeah, he's not gonna be. Better enjoy tapping the glass no. while you can. No, they're still there. Because don't they just break off if they're gone? Well, I think they have to amputate them oh, when it's it that, was, it that was, bad. Yeah, those those are probably coming. Was he on his way? He's on his way to a very important meeting. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm wearing a powder blue t-shirt and hitting my... <laughs> hey, what's this guy's life? What do you think? Do you, I mean, you climber, th right? Do you think he's uh, one of them... Uh... You think he's Matthew Henson? I don't think so. Who's that? Well, you you. Oh, it hurts, Tim. Who's Matthew Henson? 
This is a black explorer. One of the f- first. He was the first black person to ever climb Mount Everest. I only I know about uh, what's his face. Herbellis. <laughs> Isn't that Herbellis? No. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he was a jazz guitarist. He was. That yeah. wasn't one of the first integrated jazz bands. Oh, there you go. Yeah. He stayed with. The now, Knicks. what's the guy who? He stayed with the Knicks. They have a step named after him up there. Hillary. Hillary Step. Sir Edmund Hillary. He wasn't black though. No, I know, but he he was. Wasn't he the Are first you looking person up to, to see if you're correct or if you're wrong? Climb Everest. You're looking up to see if you had it right, don't you? Because you don't want to put out the wrong information. This guy. You ever seen him? Oh, Matthew Hansen. Oh, uh, was he the... Uh, Sorry, he reached the North Pole first. Not. Uh, oh, that's, that's why. Not, not yeah, because I'm not up on oh, my yeah. North Pole stuff. Oh, you thought he was from the South Pole? I guess. Was he bipolar? <laughs> 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 he was looking for Santa Claus. <laughs> I get some munchies. I get some skittles. I get something to drink. That sounds I good. I got the munchies. <laughs> I've been smoking dope. I got the munchies. Yeah, you do. I've, I've seen okay. that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was another episode of uh, Necessary Talk. I forgot which. I do so many programs. So many programs. Yeah. Uh, with Brian Sirtis. You, I am that Brian Sirtis. That went smoothly. Of course, we're going to flippity flappity. Uh, we're going to go to Timothy Hall from Timothy Hall Music. And we're going to go to Cliff Beach from Cliff Beach. Music. And, uh, and of course, now that we're celebrating what now is the middle of. Uh, and also, your birthday is coming up in a week oh, yeah. or so. I'll be 48. Uh, 48? So close to 50. Tar pit. Tar pit. Uh, yeah? You think so? Yeah. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next week.